threat of disaster is never pleasant. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast. These safety measures are essential. The only place for prepping, survival, and entertainment. This will be your source of survival instructions and information. Every member of the family must be coached in the business of survival. Here are your hosts, Cam and Kobe. Man. You're feeling it over there, dude. I am <laughs> feeling a mole on my chest. Is that too. what it is? Right here. Turning cancerous on you as we speak? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. You know what does feel good? What's that? Knowing six million people have heard Ooh, our voices. How, how weird is that? That is, blows my mind. It's actually like four people that have each, or six people that have downloaded a million times, probably. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, six Those million Those AI downs. bots that we got yeah, man. signed up on there. Worth every penny. <laughs> Worth every, every peso we paid them. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to download all that yen, all that yen, exactly. Long way. Um, but yeah, six million downloads, man. Thanks everybody for listening. That's that's a milestone. Yeah, yeah, pretty exciting. I don't know who's been downloading, but Someone, thank you. Not just us. No, <laughs> somebody else has. So that's pretty cool. Yep. But today we're really really excited because we have mindless banter one thirty eight. I love the question and answers. Question and answers. It's like a relaxing week. Oh, yeah. Think about what I don't know. Yeah. People you, ask questions. You hardly wear a shirt we're that smart, week, right? We don't. Like, like you rarely like, wear a I shirt. You're this. just like walking around with just shorts on. <laughs> yeah, it's game it's day. It's mindless banner week. <laughs> Take my shirt off. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. how it goes. So we're excited. We are excited. You know what else is exciting? Mm-hmm. Self-reliant medical care. Oh, that just gets my heart. There's so many things to deal with with prepping. Mm-hmm. You got to think about food and water and power and protection. You can't forget self-reliant medical care. You cannot. Because no one knows how to take care of themselves nowadays. I don't. But there is a book mm-hmm. that will allow you to do so. It's called The Prepper's Medical Handbook. Yeah. And it is written by noted wilderness medicine expert and survivalist William W. Mm-hmm. Borgie. He's an MD. Yeah. And, he, and he will provide you a way to save a life. The way. Yourself and others. But um, the book is easy to read it's not super confusing doesn't have a lot of medical jargon and it gets to the point you got a rash he's gonna tell you how to fix it yeah. you got a cut on your hand he's gonna tell you how to amputate that's right so it's great stuff and um it is essential to your prepper medical library go mm-hmm. get it at preppersmedicalhandbook.com or amazon.com where that's where everybody else goes heck yeah so there you go go get it kids um let's just get rolling with this uh this one came from ericotis i think it's eroticus eroticus <laughs> it was eroticus <laughs> eroticus i spelled it wrong <laughs> dang it it's that way forever <laughs> i've got an eroticus i told you about uh homie right when we were making uh playstation names you know when you put your t- gamer tag in there you put, <laughs> said, you put like, your mom up. is fat but he put an uh in there so it's like your mom is a fat <laughs> So it's just been like that for 15 like, years. Dang it. Gosh, I screwed up. You gotta, he didn't even notice. I, I don't, money to change I it. I think it was like a year and a half. And he didn't even <laughs> notice. And I'm like, hey, do you really do that on purpose? He's like, oh, I didn't even know. It's pretty funny. That's awesome. Your yeah. mom is a fat. <laughs> Your mom is a fat. She's one of the fat. She's one of the group. Yeah. Remember when it was like a thing to really make fun of moms? Like uh-huh. your mom, like yep. that was the burn. Yeah. That was the burn. There's always some that are like, mm, I don't really appreciate this. <laughs> your mom appreciates it. It was funny it. until you say their mom and then they're yeah. like, what? Yeah. And then you get beat up. Yeah. Had to go to the principal's yeah. office. Not good. He's your brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, son of a bee. <laughs> Hate that guy. Erocatus, 26. <laughs> there were 25 Erocatuses in front of him. If the fountain of youth served tall, grande, and venti, which one would you drink? Um, I, I mean, mean, if no, it's fountain of youth, yeah. aren't they all going to do the same thing? I don't know. Well, maybe but it depends it mean on like, how much. Yeah, okay. right. Drink a gallon. I, like, I don't I don't drink coffees. So I don't even know what, you, what all of those are. I don't know either. Like, what size those are. I don't know. Not a clue. Grande sounds like the biggest one. <laughs> but I don't think it is. I don't think it is either. <laughs> I've seen the jokes enough to know that that's not true, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, whatever uh, Whatever I have to drink to get me back to my early 30s, I'd be pretty Early happy. 30s, huh? Yeah. I you think didn't so. like your 20s as much? Oh, I was pretty much an idiot. I was too. I mean. I'd like to go back and. If I could keep my mind, I yeah. suppose I would go to my like. Mid, that's true. mid to late twenties. That's true, but it does make a big difference if you can pull. Yeah, if I can your brain keep, power with you, keep this wisdom with me, then yeah, get me back to that guy. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what, what are you? 
But yeah, no twenties. I I like I'd like the health of my twenties for sure. But if I had the brains, yeah, I don't want those. You'd again. go back to that long, long hair. Wouldn't yeah, you? I would. <laughs> That's what you'd do. Yeah, in all the places. You know, yeah, you were. Yeah, you had all the long hair. I'm shaggy everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> butt hair was bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm still going strong. <laughs> still going strong. <laughs> yeah. So I got that great. I like that. <laughs> Erocatus. Erocatus. Twenty six. Um. Women's Reese Photography, <laughs> WM underscore Reese underscore Photography, mm. if you want to look that up. Yeah, go ahead. Um, still taking pictures of women eating Reese's Pieces. <laughs> it's erotic. It's erotic. <laughs> it's erotic. <laughs> 26. Um, out of all the knives that you've gotten in the last five years through Battlebox and otherwise, what has been your favorite knife for EDC and what has been your favorite bushcraft slash camping knife, I guess? Mm. It's a good for, question. Oh yeah, for bushcraft. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. So for me, bushcraft. I, I think we've said this before, but I really love the Topps Fieldcraft. I just feel like all it's around a solid knife, solid man. knife. Got all the goods in it. Got yeah. all the features you Thick, want. You can beat the crap out of it. Yeah, and, um, just like your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, that make me mad. Um, yeah, I like the Fieldcraft. I like the yeah. Cub. It's similar. Oh, yeah, it's just a little shorter version yeah, a little of stubby. it. Stubby. Yeah, a little stubby. He's a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, for the EDC, man, I'm still like, this is probably more than five years old, but that mm -hmm. Boker Quaken, mm. which one was that the, um, which one was the Quaken? It's like black. It's flips. Oh, super right, right. Nice. It's really kind of long rounded ish black. Yeah. It, uh, it, it's yeah. Has a little bit of it a just, bevel. I don't know. I love it. That's it, a great it one. Flips so nice. It's it super sharp. I like it. So I have a couple of QSP folders that, um, I just feel like they're really well made. Um, kind of, they feel more upscale. Yeah, those yeah. Some folders. of them you can feel it. Just... <clears throat> yeah, feels nice. But like for my like, nor oh, actually, I probably have. I do have it today. The Kershaw Leak. <clears throat> this knife, it's cheaper than cheap. But I don't remember that. Just see. flip Let's that open. Yeah. Tell me how much you like flipping that thing open. Tell me how. No, no. It's a. It's. Oh, it there it's you go. got both. Yeah. Ooh. It's nice, ain't it? I don't think I have felt this one. Um, it's just, yeah, it's and it's got this really nice action on it, man. <laughs> you hit the freaking mic. I yeah. just cut the wire. Oh, yeah, you just cut out the podcast. You just cut the internet wires. <laughs> ain't nobody listen to us anymore. Wow. Anyways, I like that one. <laughs> Boom. Boom. I, you know, the one of the more recent ones, the Fox Air Knife. Have, do you remember uh, that? It's, I don't. It's got a green, it, but Fox makes some really nice. Blue. They do. Yeah. Um. I've liked that one because it's super lightweight and it's really thin. Mm. So you're not like, you know, yeah. snagging your hand on yeah. it when you're putting it in your pocket. Yeah. That's a good knife. So there you go. There Fox you go. Air Knife. You got, what was that one called? The uh, one that uh, I just Kershaw Leak. About cut the yeah. wire. Yeah. Yeah. Kershaw Leak. Some good ones. I like Got that. a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, Little guy from Mimo F. Mimo F. Mimo F. Ah, you a Mimo F. Mimo F. Mimo F. <laughs> yeah, so that's proud of exactly how it is. Um, who would win in a tag team fight? The casual preppers or Joe Rogan and Andrew? Oh my Schultz? gosh, I'd have, I'd be snapped in half in like <laughs> a like, second. Like one thousand percent is Rogan and Schultz, man. Rogan is a jujitsu black belt for one. Yeah, he's and a, he's a jujitsu black belt. He's a taekwondo black belt, and he's an MMA. Expert. His whole I was gonna say his whole life has been around MMA. Yeah. He, Kill me one kick. And you just have to look at us and we fall over. Yeah. <laughs> and Schultz, fight? Schultz is a pretty big dude too, I think. And I think he's done a little bit of training. So no. Don't want to deal with Yeah, him. there's not even a <clears throat> No, I mean I'm a freaking blue belt in jujitsu. That's all I got. <laughs> I got nothing else. Yeah, that's I got no size, I got no I strength. I don't have anything. Yeah. Gam's just got, you know, those knives we I were just talking curl about. up. In the corner. <laughs> I'm going to go nap over here while you try and deal with I'm these gonna guys. I'm going to get killed either way. No tagging me. Yeah. So. Nope. Pretty easy answer. Pretty easy. Jordan the 420 man. Oh, we know what Jordan's doing. <laughs> you know what happens at 420? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it's 419. You got a minute? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. What do you think is going to happen on April 8th with all of this stuff they got going on around the total solar eclipse? Yeah, man, that's pretty legit. I've been seeing some crazy, crazy 
things. Like what? I like, haven't seen anything. I mean, well, a lot of people are people saying gathering around those areas. A lot of people are saying Jesus is coming back. Oh, really? I haven't heard any of this stuff. Oh yeah, there are conspiracies beyond conspiracy. Well, what? I guess well, we it's not just had an eclipse already. Yeah, but this one's different. This is the last one in our lifetime. <laughs> I don't know the U.S. Is it the last one? Something like that. Yeah, and just like the way well, the path yeah. of totality, the way that it crisscrosses. I'm like the, just last year we <clears> had that one cross through. Yeah, it was a total solar. Yeah, I don't it? think it wasn't total. Yeah. I don't think. I don't know. I think it was if you get wind of like rich was it? and stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. They were t- like I think they were saying five degree off that you don't get a full. Yeah, I thought they said the last one was 2017. I remember. Oh no, the it was a ring because it didn't do a total mm-hmm. eclipse. That's right. It was a ring of fire or whatever they call. It. But they were saying that the way that the this path of totality goes over, and and it, and, and where it crosses with the other paths of totality, it like makes these symbols that are like these Hebrew letters and all this other weird stuff. And then also it goes right over the New Madrid fault line. And at the same time... I haven't seen any of that. I didn't have any... I was like, oh, just another solar eclipse. And at the same time, there's supposed to be some huge, like, um, some solar uh, stuff going on uh, at the same time. And it also goes over eight towns that are named Nineveh. Oh. So you got some biblical stuff going on there. Also, they've started a third temple the Jews have or something. There's some red heifers that are being shipped over there. <laughs> and I'm not lying. Like, this is a whole thing. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. When I see his question, I was like, no, yeah. I don't know, nothing. It's 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 an endless thing that's going on. And then, yeah, so that they're thinking that, I mean, earthquakes, Jesus coming through the clouds because it's supposed to be cloud cover and Jesus coming in the clouds. And I don't know, man. It's never ending. That's gonna be sucky if it's all cloud cover. <laughs> I when know it passes over. And it will be sucky, but I don't look. I <laughs> it's not gonna happen. No, you know, um, uh, there's gonna be a lot of extra people along the path of totality, so that's gonna be an issue for the people in those areas. Obviously, there's gonna be a ton of people, yeah. so you you have to figure out. Uh, you know, you have enough food and water and fuel for those few days just to, because I guarantee some of those places are going to run out of fuel. There's going to be issues like that. Restaurants are going to be overrun, but like, I don't know. I, I, a lot of things too is pe- there's different governmental entities that are saying, Hey, prepare for this. Yeah. And so that, and I know they do yeah. anyway with, with an mm-hmm. event like this. Cause so, so many out of yeah. like counters and countries and stuff like that. So people are just acting a little weird, <laughs> right? People are getting kind of freaked Sounds out. Sounds like a nightmare to oh, me. It's not yeah. worth looking at for me. I'm like, I'll watch it on TV. I'll see the video yeah. later on on TikTok. I'll put my thumb up in front of the same thing. Well, this is what they saw. <laughs> well, I can see some shining around it. <laughs> and you move your thumb and burn your and cornea. Then, so just put your thumb over it, plug your ears so you can't hear the birds and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same thing. This is it. I mean, it's cool. I, I think yeah. my brother's going to Kansas or wherever, mm. Tennessee. To go and see it. Wow. He's obsessed with it. How long is it supposed to be? Um, you know, how long is it supposed to last? I, I think it only they lasts like two like, minutes or yeah, something it's like that. Short. It's like two to three minutes. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know man. It's total want, blackout. If I want something cool to last for two to three minutes, I'll just wait till Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? That's way cooler you for me. Eclipse in the background on TV. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All that's happening. <laughs> I can get a lot of stuff done in two or three minutes. <laughs> That would be way cooler than driving to Kansas. Yeah, it's crazy. but It's cool, though. Like, it really is cool. It is cool. If right? it was here and I didn't have to go anywhere, <laughs> have way to go cooler. Anywhere. 100% is true. Well, yes. it did It did happen here, what, like, I remember four or five partial. years ago. Partial. Oh, it was a partial, that's that right. That was in 2017, that's right. I think. I remember that, because it was crazy. I was at my dad's house. We I remember, like, the, the shadows yeah. through, like, the trees and stuff. It was super weird, Funky too. dunk, right? I made it. You I did. I made it through it. We, we all lived. Yeah, I bought, like, a um, solar... A lens for my telescope yeah. and stuff, but you know, you're just looking at a bright ball that's darker. It's yeah, not a whole lot. Of that's pretty cool. <laughs> mm. One good eyes now, I'm damaged. Yeah, but again, if you're in those areas, you know, have some additional food and water, stock up on your meds, maybe keep your head on a swivel. Yeah, I don't, I mean, that's about all you can do. Yeah, yep. I, I ain't too worried about it. Yeah, <laughs> interesting one for sure. Yeah. I, I didn't know all that stuff, oh, yeah, was, I didn't know there was that much around it. Mm-hmm. That was that was you, huh? Yep, sure was. Angelo, knock knock. Who's there? Amador. <laughs> Amador. <laughs> Angelo Amador Junior. CPP movie scene. Okay. Um, you two are in the city for a radio interview. Mm, wonder grid what go- station we're on. Grid goes down. K Rock. WKRP in Cincinnati. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> grid goes down, and now you are stuck in the elevator with a group of people. Mm-hmm. What is your plan of action to escape? Um, extra points for song you want played during this. 
Well, hundred percent of the songs "Love in an Elevator." That's a perfect one by Aerosmith. Yeah, um, I do remember. I had to look it up because I remember Incubus had one about an elevator, and I listened oh, to yeah. that, so I'd play that. Okay, bit. but um, I don't know. I've never thought about surviving in an elevator. Mm-hmm. I from movies. I'm gonna try and pop that top off. Yeah, and crawl up up the cable. Yeah, maybe. That's. I mean, that's that's, that's all my... I can think of. I mean, I'm going to try and use the phone that's in there and call yeah. emergency services, yeah. the elevator people, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. Because they do their job. They'll get you there. You can hoist help me you. up and I'll be like, I'll come back for you. And you won't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If we couldn't get yeah. out, man, I am just like yeah. sit in a corner. Rock back and forth. I would. Yeah. Like, there's too many bodies touching me. Don't, yeah. don't look at me. Don't touch me. Don't breathe. Just take my shirt off and like just... <laughs> Sit there, like <laughs> yeah, sitting shirt. in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Look like that. Look like Donnie Wahlberg from the yeah, Sixth exactly. Sense in the corner exactly. over there. That would probably clear some space it out would. for you a little yeah, bit. They're like Ugh. a little breathing room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't do this. And start handing out Book of Mormons or something. Everybody <laughs> get away from you. Yeah, that would. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, try the call button. Try and phone and text somebody. If that doesn't work, then you can go up the top, like Cam says. Yeah. What else do you do? I don't know. The all elevators, I would imagine they all have an escape off the top, right? Most no. of them are confusing looking up top. I'm like, you bust uh, through the light? Do you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know, it runs in my family. My grandpa was an elevator man. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he was. Yeah. yeah. He had its ups and downs, that career. Your, who was? Your grandpa? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, nice joke. That's a good one. <laughs> um, yeah, my, my mom's dad. He really was? Yeah, he worked for Dover <laughs> Elevators <laughs> for like 40 years or something. What was his name? Uh, Brent. Brent. Yeah. Brent. Curtis. Curtis. Yeah. Brent Curtis, PhD in elevator- <laughs> yeah. elevatorology. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an elevatologist. Elevatologist. <laughs> elevatologist. That's right. Elevatologist. I'm an elevatologist, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, man, he is an elevatologist. Yes, sir. That guy right there. This one came from Quan. Quan eight two one. Um, I just wanted to bring this up because I believe this is a vital survival skill that is heavily overlooked. Swimming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The reason why I say this is because I constantly run into people who don't know how to properly swim or tread water. I live in a state that borders water and rivers everywhere. Do you guys believe this is underrated and overlooked skill? Yeah. <clears throat> Do you? Yeah. I do think okay, it is. Great. I like that. So he's just swimming places. He's like, I don't know how he's doing. Everybody's just drowning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just first off, like, if this is constantly coming up for you, um, you either need to expand your conversation topics or figure out why it's coming up so often. <laughs> I can't remember last time I talked about swimming. Me, me either. Can't remember. It's a nice truck. You get new tires on it? How's your swimming skill? Well, but can you tread water? <laughs> yeah. Huh? That's a big deal. Yeah. I don't know, how, do you think it's a big deal? I think it's a big it's deal. It's a real big deal. I'm going to ask Kevin about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for, yeah, for sure it is. You got to know how to swim, man, especially if you're near big bodies of water. Yeah. Like like we've talked about. You got you to gotta know oceans, rivers, lakes, ditches. I don't know. The ocean scares me. I don't know how good I would fare in there. But, yeah, dude. Man, I have, I have swam in Bear River that's like, 90% Indian foam on top. <laughs> <laughs> Indian foam? Do you remember call, Indian soap? Indian soap. Oh. Uh, that's probably not a good thing to say. Probably not. Do you no. remember it called that, though? No, I don't, Like that, that yellow stuff? They're oh, like Indian yeah. soap. I see, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. No. Um, but, like, I remember, we. so we swam, we had a canal by our house, and there was a waterfall, like, a uh, that comes down. It's not really, it's like a duct, basically. But I remember swimming against that, playing tag. I'm like, I probably built up some good swim skill. You probably did. But I survive pretty yeah, good with that. For sure. So it's a good skill to have. It is a really good That's skill. That's the end of my story. Yeah, I think you got to be able to do some swimming. You got to be able to. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I, I wonder how many people can't swim nowadays. <clears throat> I don't know. Most of them. 19%? I don't know, millennials. None of them can yeah. Swim. Can't drive a stick shift, can't swim in a river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Did I tell you one of my friends went to like Jiffy Lube to get his um, oil changed and he has a stick mm-hmm. and like he waited for like 20 minutes and they were like talking around his car and everything and the manager came in. He's like, I don't, he's, <laughs> he was all, um, he's like, none of us in here know how to drive a stick. So Are you kidding can you me? pull it in for us? Yeah. At Jiffy Lube? Yeah. This oh is my gosh. Boise. Yeah. That's crazy. He was like, 
<laughs> he was like, well, any of your boyfriends know how to pull it in? <laughs> <laughs> That's 100% what I would have said. I <laughs> For sure. But yeah. Oh my God. I was like, that's crazy to me. That is nuts. None of them knew how to drive a stick. At Jiffy Lube, you figure those guys have some like basic life skills when it comes to automobiles. You would think. You would think. You would think. You'd be wrong. Hard up. Hard up for people that know oil. Yeah. Exactly. (laughs) Where to put it. That scares me though. Oh yeah, for sure. You're just like pushing your windshield washer fluid and it's, you know, 90 weight, something in there. It's like, (laughs) you never know what what is that. These guys can't even drive a stick. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Mm-hmm. Um, where are we at? Grumpy Bushcraft. I just pulled up my thing. You want me to read it? Grumpy Bushcraft? Mm-hmm. I'm grumpy now. <laughs> just feather the wood already. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, knock those rocks together. <laughs> I'm sick of this. <laughs> so grumpy about yeah. it. All your ammo is gone, mm-hmm. and your pew-pew is a paperweight. Yeah, it is. What do you pick to survive? Slingshot or addle-addle? Addle-addle. Addle-addle. Addle-addle is fun to say. So if you don't know what an addle-addle is, it's like a, it's like a hand mm-hmm. spear, but it has a little throwing mechanism. Yeah. I don't know I don't why know people works. are like into this. I don't know either. I'm like, just pick, just grab a spear and throw it with your hand. <laughs> yeah, why do you got to add I this? think it gives it a little more oomph. Yeah, I think so too. I don't know. It, and it kind of depends on, am I, are we talking about like the David and Goliath slingshot, you know, where you have oh, to true. swing it around and then yeah. like, like, I'd be worthless with that thing. But if we're talking about like a Me wrist too. rocket, like when I was a kid, I was deadly. Every kid has yeah. some skill there, right? Yeah. Well, should. should yeah. I mean, I killed he birds. You had a good childhood. Squirrels and birds. And, <laughs> yeah, I did too. You know, like for Shooting sure. Shooting bottles and everything yeah. you can. Like signs. Yeah. I'd mm-hmm. shoot signs with Oh, them. yeah, road signs all day long. Yeah. I made a big old ding noise, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, You'll probably go find a sign that has a little dent yeah, on mine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that if I could do the wrist rocket, I'd do that. The addle-addle thing, I don't know. If it I seems w- like too if, much work. Yeah, if I had skill in any of them, you know, I would for sure. The addle-addle, I mean, I think you can kill a bigger animal than a, with a slingshot. You probably could. But, yeah, I'm, I'm a mm-hmm. more natural yeah. slingshot. Exactly. Person I had one when I was a kid. So. Yep. Me too. It's important. Yeah. All right. This one came from Ty Spence, twelve. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all. Twelve year old. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to <laughs> Europe. Pretty too. smart. <laughs> yeah. I'll be traveling to Europe this summer on vacation. Um, at one point, I'll be about a hundred miles as the crow flies to the border of Ukraine. Oh, to the border. Okay. Yeah. I thought he was going to be in Ukraine. No, no. I feel safe where we will be, but I can't help but have scenarios play out in my head of Ivan deciding to start part two of his electric boogaloo European tour whilst I'm there. What would the two most knowledgeable people in prepping do? Thoughts, opinions. Thanks for your great weekly entertainment. Come to find out, he's going to Russia. He's going to be a, a <laughs> from the border. First off, I, I don't know what Les Stroud and Donnie Dust would do if we're talking about the most knowledgeable people Seriously, in prepping. I don't know because it ain't us. You're asking yeah. the wrong people. Um, but this is yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to answer this very well. It's very tough. Obviously, I'm um, going to go as far away from it. I, mm-hmm. Like I know people when it, when it broke out, like they walked like, you know. 50, 60 miles to get as far from where sure. the action was. So Yeah. I mean, you're here on vacation, so you're just, you're going to have to just really keep an ear to the ground. Um, listen for information while you're there. Have those emergency alert apps installed. You know, follow whoever those information sources are on social media, like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, you know, um, maybe even set some alerts for those people while you're there. Just yeah. so you have the the earliest indication if stuff's going bad that you can get. Right. Yeah. Um, know the area as well as you can. Maybe download some physical Subs- maps. Subscribe to the Kremlin <clears throat> yeah. account. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Kremlin podcast. <laughs> Listen to that if you could. Uh, do your best to keep as good of an EDC kit on you as you can at all times. I don't know what the laws look like over there. You either. know, so do the best you can. Have those contingency plans if things go do go south. Um, I don't know if you're from the United States, you're from the UK or whatever, but if you are from the United States, they have the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program mm-hmm. through the State Department. Basically, it's free service and it emails you with updates from the local That's embassy idea. and the consulate. And then if there is an emergency, they help you get in touch and, and figure those things out. I I don't know what else you do. I, I think it's good that you're thinking, because I would too, I would like... Even being remotely close to <clears throat> Ukraine, it's like, who knows? Yeah, who knows you don't know. what Russia could do. So. Yeah, you never know. But yeah, I think all of your advice is the best. Okay. 
Because I was thinking he was going to be in Ukraine. I was like, dude. Oh, yeah. And I was like, they say do not travel to Ukraine right yeah, now. Yeah, it's not a good place to be. So, yeah. But, Just close. But, but close enough to mm-hmm. it. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'd get Very as far true. away from anything that happened. Exactly. I got to tell you about Off the Grid Surplus, though. Their mission is to inspire greater connection through adventure. They do that by creating extremely functional and everyday wearable products for a great price to take you off the grid. How do they do that? Well, they simplify your clothing options so you only need one piece of clothing instead of three or four. They combine the best features from outdoor, from workwear, and tactical into one everyday wearable package. Check out their site, offthegridsurplus.com. Get an extra 15% off with our code CASUALPREPPERS15. You know, short weather's coming up. Uh, those short pants, they got Weather the good stuff. short. Yeah. The, yeah. They uh, they have the best shorts. They do. Known to man. Yeah. You got to go get them. Yeah, it's great stuff. It, it is. keeps you warm and dry and cooled down. It's weird. It's All weird. the things. Yep. All the things. Chuckles, Chuckley's Swagger. Chuckley's Swagger. Chuckle E Swagger. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, howdy y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, howdy. I got a wicked awesome freeze dryer, obviously from Canada. It's sick. My question is, do I keep a balance of freeze dried and canned food storage or just full send it into freeze dried stuff? Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I would a variety for sure. Like I know that they've done studies on like the nutritional value mm-hmm. of freeze dried and it's just not as good. So you're going to have a mix. Man. Yeah. You got to have a little mix of all that. Short term, medium term, long term. Yeah. I wouldn't it, go full on freezer dried. No, because you, you want that variety, man. You want to be able to go and have some like fresher, like canned food stuff, like yeah. vegetables and, and things. You don't always want to be going to the freeze dried foods all no. the time if you don't have to. Yeah. It's great if you have it. Oh, it's I'd fantastic. Love to, I'd freeze dry a, a ton of stuff, but uh-huh. I wouldn't do it all. No way. Yeah. I, w- I would definitely always don't. Don't put your eggs all in one basket. Yeah, exactly. Don't put all your freeze-dried eggs in one basket, okay? <laughs> He's all, oh, freeze some eggs. I freeze dry some eggs. <laughs> exactly. But it's fantastic if you have a um, Yeah, I w- I've wanted one pretty bad. Me too, man. One day. Yeah. One day. Yes. Send us. If anybody in here works for one of those companies. Get us one. That'd be awesome. Yeah. The Jake Break. Uh, mm. This one came from The Jake Break. Looking for advice. Currently, I sleep in the nude. And sometimes I know Jake break. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I lie awake thinking about what would happen if there was an emergency. If there was an intruder, it might work to my advantage. The sight of a large naked man <laughs> power walking down the hallway might be enough to scare them off. On the other hand, if there was something like an earthquake, I would be severely disadvantaged. Standing outside in the cold, waiting for aftershocks would be quite <laughs> embarrassing. Yeah. And, Quick, took my clothes right off. Yeah, <laughs> I shook them right off my body. Anyways, I would love some advice or potential solutions, but as of right now, I am not willing to sleep. I'm not willing to not, to not sleep in the nude. LOL. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, do your nude thing, man. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead. I I don't see how I could never do it, but you I've thought about it. that too. Like, like, what if in the middle of the night, you know, mm-hmm. I always think about like, where's my shoes? Like, do I need yeah. to have them nearby? I know, I think about <laughs> like, that stuff too. Stuff like that. Um I think you got to strategize a little bit. You do. You got to, you know, maybe have a pair down on the way out of the house or in the garage or yeah. in your car that's parked outside the house or something. Yeah, like keep those sweatpants next to the bed. Yeah. And you just throw them on. I mean, and then you could really do some drills. Yeah. You know. It's true. Like get that down to like three seconds. Up. <laughs> pants on. Up. <laughs> pants on. And just keep drilling that. That's true. You know, drillers yeah. are killers, man. Get rid of the blanket and just sleep with your clothes on you. Like laying oh, yeah. on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pile it's a good clothes. idea. Just pile it on you. Yeah. Then you just grab a few things on the mm-hmm. way up. And you just shake enough when you get up. <laughs> Something's going to get on. Your hands in a sock. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's going to be scary to whoever's intruding. Yeah. You're wearing a sock on your hand. They're just like, just pile of clothes on the bed. And then you come out of it <laughs> yeah. naked. That's scary. Scare oh. the crap out of yeah. everybody. I don't know. Uh, but again. I don't, yeah. <laughs> It's good to think about that, though. It's like, sure. what if you have to run outside and you're standing in your driveway as your house burns down? Yeah. No pants on. But I think that, you know, just think about... Found a shirt. Think about strategically placing or you're using items in your yard. Yeah. You know, like that yard security sign? Grab that sucker, cover up your crotch <laughs> with it right away, you yeah. know? Or maybe you can just hop in the garbage can as soon as you get outside, yeah. pop your head out. 
Yeah. You can still kind of see around, <laughs> but no one can see your ding dang hanging out, you know? <laughs> your ding dong, ding, ding dong, dang. ding dang. Your front porch rug, you could wrap that around your body. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, or <laughs> lawnmower, like yeah. the cover for your lawnmower. Yeah. Just poke a hole in the top or just pull it on. Speaking of lawnmowers, don't mow your lawn. Then you can just sneak into your grass, <laughs> just lay there and just pop your That's head up. That's true. You like know? if you got a nice hedge bush just or jump something. jump in there. Like cut a little hole that you can just jump yep. in there. Exactly. Just waiting for the house to burn down. <laughs> just waiting for the fire trucks to show up. <laughs> don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just don't want you to see my ding dang. Don't want anybody coming in here and grabbing stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is this is my place. <laughs> but you could have like you know some boxer shorts out there in your yeah. grass or something. Yeah, that's true. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Just leave a pair of clothes like <laughs> in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. Never know. Your wife's like, I think there's a homeless person living in our bushes. <laughs> no, nah, that's just my, my it's like a cardboard <laughs> box and like clothes sitting on it. That's just my house fire. Half eaten sandwich. <laughs> yeah. I go in there from time to time. <laughs> Check to make sure everything's in there. <laughs> make sure no one just took them clothes. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Mm. A lot of ideas here, Jake. Ideas, ideas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what we do. Idea machine. <laughs> that's right. Um just cause. Uh, one, 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 one. I was like, I get all these ones right. <laughs> um, what's y'all's favorite episode to date that you've y'all have done? Um, y'all, y'all. I don't know. Some of the ones that I think back on are usually the ones that I've laughed the hardest. That are pretty silly. Oh, you yeah. know, no yeah, one's sure. probably gotten anything out of them. <laughs> I'm definitely not. There's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Um. I like I like the the alien Halloween one talking about the locks and the like oh, yeah, alien fingers not unlocking them mm-hmm. like that one was awesome um, or I the really, other all the Halloween ones have been pretty good all the Halloweens were yeah were like really the, good. what was the one where yeah surviving uh, classic monsters <laughs> oh that one was fun <laughs> that one was way that fun. was fun yeah like ones like that are probably ones that I remember the most just because. Yeah. It's almost like a, like when my wife listens to it, I'm like eager to see if she thought it was funny too. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one I really got into was like the nuclear, like to survive like a nuclear attack or mm-hmm. fallout. Just yeah. I, it's got, I, I went down like a rabbit hole. The early on, like, one we Learning did. about nuclear reactors and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was early. Mm-hmm. And so that was one of my favorites. Nice. I like that. Um, for me, probably my favorite is the civil defense episode. That was a great one. Dude, I- Stuff I, I didn't know. Yeah. Like- it's just the research of it was super fun for me. Yeah. Um, the style too, like yeah. the pictures mm-hmm. and like the like the know, man. public announcement stuff. Yeah, it's the really duck cool. and cover. All that stuff is so much fun. That was I, a really good one. And just learning about that was really cool. And then there was also like another episode right around that same time, um, the continuity of government. That one was episode, cool. like the plans that the government has to that I didn't know existed. Yeah. The, like to keep the them going. Thing. Yeah. Right. To keep the president in you know alive and keep. The, the government in somewhat of a was form. that also the one which was what was the one that we had someone send us badges for or like a little patches I think it was continuity I think of it government. was too yeah that was yep. a cool one because someone like, they couldn't tell us where you they don't worked know who's listening yeah you never know but that one those two were just so much fun for me they were fun. we need to do some more like that because I just it it's like old me. school like prepper plan yeah. and stuff it was really cool for sure that's good that's stuff. a good one I like it. How about Piazza Creek Patriot? Piazza Creek Patriot? I don't know. One of those. Piazza Creek Patriot. <laughs> ah. <laughs> your, uh, your comment off your movie episode about Greenland was try and find a cave if you did not have a bunker. Oh, yeah, we did talk about that. Anything to try and make it. My question is, if that was the plan, what extra preps would you grab for your bag or the truck specifically for the cave setting or in a case of a collapse? Oh, I didn't, I didn't look at that in case of a collapse. Um, Collapse cave? Collapse cave. I mean, that's not. it's not going to be <laughs> it's good. It's bad. It's bad. You're not going to like it. I We've never really talked about, like, survival locations. Living in a specifically cave. Specifically about a cave. Yeah. Pretty, that's, that's rough stuff. Yeah. We uh, we did a video um, using the Kelly kettle, and I had to cr- I had to start a fire in a cave. It <sighs> was right so now. hard. Yeah, it was very it's like, damp. All I made was just a huge smoke, mm-hmm. like, factory it was bad um nothing would light it wouldn't stay lit it smoked mm-hmm. a ton it was like and it's a huge cave yeah. so it was like and it still was like building up in there mm-hmm. so um yeah I, i've thought about that before also sleeping in that damp like uncomfortable rocky like yeah. you probably want some you know like a, a one of those little 
portable camp bed things because mm-hmm. it's going to be rough in there. Oh, it's not going to be easy. I mean, the first thing I think of is when you get in a deep, dark cave is lighting, right? You can't recharge sh- it. Yeah. Unless l- you got a hand crank. Right. Um, I just, you got to have Unless that cave goes to the center of the earth. Then you can charge everything. Yeah. Yeah, some geothermal type stuff. But yeah, making sure you have lots of additional lighting. Yeah. It it would be a big deal. Might get cold and damp in there. Obviously, extra clothing and blankets are going to be crucial. And water, and you might have to take some water in there because it's not like you can find a water source if there isn't one right next. Yeah, Yeah, you can lick the cave ceiling. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know what else you do there. but And then just making sure that you have your, your normal bug out bag with all the other stuff, right? Yeah. I would, I mean, you, you definitely have to focus on like propane uh, cooking and stuff because those are pretty, like a lot of those caves are tight. You're going to smoke yourself out or, yeah, you know, die. <laughs> or die. And what's gonna One happen? of the two. You're yep. going to die. Yep. But yeah, like it, it does change it up a lot because it's almost like an indoor area that doesn't have a lot of ventilation. Yep. And dark and it's wet. It's bad. And bats in there. Mm-hmm. Weird stuff. Weird, weird, weird. Lifeline outdoors. Um, do you guys think that when the, when the China virus kicked off, uh, there were people that went into their bunkers or bug out locations like the movie blast from the past? I think there probably were. I hope so. And I think that within a week they're like, this sucks. I'm done. Yeah. (laughs) I'll take my chances. But I I do think like there were probably, I, well, I've seen and listened to people that not necessarily like would bug in, mm-hmm. in, 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 you know, in a way that we think that they would have, but they just like shut themselves off they from definitely everybody. Did. Yeah. So it was just like, not, not from the lockdown. They were just like, we're not communicating. We're not going to church. We're not going to like get yep. around people. Like it's all done. they lost their minds. It mm-hmm. was crazy. Yeah. I, I really hope there was a baby that was born in a bunker somewhere <laughs> that really knows nothing of our modern world <laughs> post COVID, yeah. you know? In 30 years, they can emerge from that bunker and they can lead us all to salvation in some way, shape, cool. or form. I don't know. I actually really liked Blast from the Past. Have yeah, you ever seen it? Yep. It's been uh, a long time. Oh, so good. Alicia Silverstone. That's right. She back was in the, the day. The, she yeah. Was the girl in there, huh? And um, yeah, Brendan Fraser, obviously. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh. Yeah, that was a good one. So good. It's been a long time since I've seen that one. Great movie. Blast from the yeah. Past. Cool stuff down in there. Oh, yeah. The best bunker. Yeah, one of the best was. bunkers ever <laughs> in a movie, man. So good. This one came from Real Dunn or Ariel Dunn. How would you say that? Ariel dot Dunn. Real Dunn. Ryle Dunn. Ryle Dunn. Ryle Dunn. Ryle Dunn. Good job. Well done. <laughs> um, I have real done. <laughs> have you two seen each other naked? <laughs> So, uh, it's, the questions. Sometimes. I like that you put it in here, I but know. I'm also like, what? <laughs> I, 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 I'm hoping maybe it was like a woman. A woman. It's a little less weird. Yeah, still probably weird. still weird. But, but if it's like a guy's like, hey, you guys seen each other naked? You guys seen each other's wiener? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> you ain't good. You ain't a good prepper group. You hadn't seen each other naked. You gotta, you gotta know each other real good. That's real done. <laughs> That's real done. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. We have not. Uh, no. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know if I've seen like any of my good no, friends naked. I I have I remember like the Bear River speaking of that. Yeah. Um we like wanted to cross it, but we had like our school clothes and we're mm-hmm. like, we'll just do it naked. But I remember like mm-hmm. strategically getting oh, yeah. in. Like I'm like, I'm not he's not gonna see my ding dong. No. No way. Uh, it's not yeah, no. I'm not that comfortable. I had friends that were who they didn't oh, care. Yeah. At oh all. yeah, I did too. Yeah, like we went was... boating and like uh wakeboarding and like sucked his pants off and we even had like <laughs> girls from our school with us and he's like oh, yeah. I know it's like, dude, like come no. on man. I know some people just don't care but yeah. no we have not cared. haven't been in that situation um I don't I don't know what situation that would be uh but we haven't no yeah I don't no it's not gonna happen no <laughs> no <laughs> weird no weirdo yeah <laughs> even if I slept in the nude and my house caught on fire yeah he ain't gonna see it <laughs> <laughs> He's out there with a bucket of water throwing Just it on my flashlight house. flashlight in my eyes so I can't. <laughs> Ow! Don't look. I'm going to keep this on you until yeah. I find some clothes. Until <laughs> I get in my grass. <laughs> okay. I'm in. Uh, you can now look you now. can open up and save See my you house. you can find me. Save my house. <laughs> Hold on. I almost got this lawnmower <laughs> cover on me. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, Jeremy RC1121. Maybe he makes RC cold. I bet he does. Oh, man. <laughs> I was thinking an RC car. RC car, too. Yeah. Love RC car. Yeah. 
Um, if you could take a tour of one of one secret or mysterious place, where would it be? Area 51, Skinwalker Ranch, Plum Island, somewhere else? Mm. Yeah, for me, and it, maybe it's not super mysterious, but I kind just... kind of is, though. It kind of is. I really want to check out, like, those, those insane government bunkers, like Cheyenne Mountain. Yeah. Or Mount Weather. I, I just, just would love to see how they have it all set up yeah, in there and just see what it feels like. I want to live in one so yeah, bad. It'd be awesome. Like two weeks in the bunker or something <laughs> yeah. just to... I know. I've looked. They used to have tours of Cheyenne. Yeah. Now, now they don't. They don't. Stupid. Hate COVID. That's stupid. Probably COVID or <laughs> maybe George Bush made it. Can I get in the mound, please? I just want to go inside and say hello. <laughs> okay? Is there a subway in there? Open a door. Because isn't there a subway in the Cheyenne knock, knock. complex? Knock, knock. On the door. Maybe um, we need to apply... For subway and see if we can get transferred to the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. That's the, Call that's it good goal. after that first time. Start two making weeks. some sandwiches, do Look, it the this best. This isn't we can. for me. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to just <laughs> needed to check, check this it place out. out. All that work. <laughs> Ain't making your subs no more. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd I think Area 51 would be cool. Yeah. I'd like to see some of the secret stuff there. But it might just be super disappointing. It probably is. Like there's just it's just covered in sand just and warehouses dust. They just don't and, do anything. Yeah. There. Yeah. You know? Just you like nothing. what you see. Yeah. Get out. Get out. Go make your sandwiches. And they flash in the eyes like the men in black. <laughs> yeah. wonder if they've got Subway at Mary Wake 51. up naked in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Okay. I wonder if Area 51 has a Subway. Oh, I, they should. We just got to get in touch with Subway. Maybe they, Subway could be a sponsor. Yeah. We could find some way to uh, just get into these places that Subway is. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Maybe they got one in the White House. They probably do. Under the Capitol building. Places. Yeah. And Mount Weather. Cheyenne Mountain. There's Area at least 51. two per town. Roswell. So, oh my, there's for at sure. least. Yeah. yeah. And they don't ever, they're not consistent. No. Like one doesn't put any meat on it. And <laughs> the other one puts too much meat in the bread stale. There's no bread up. at the other one. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw this meme the other day and it actually made me laugh. It was, it was like, like, this is the same how did, franchise? How did Subway convince us all that eating an entire loaf of bread was healthy <laughs> at lunch? Because really, when you get a foot long, it's like an that's entire great, loaf of bread. That's you know? an awesome, that's a great post. Yeah, it's, I'm like, it's so true. Yeah. Like, they convinced us yeah. that this was healthy. Yeah. I got vegetables on there and meat. Yeah. Like low carb. An it's entire like a whole loaf of bread. Wonder Bread loaf that you're eating that thing <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. Full on enriched yep. flour. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. It is. <laughs> it's, it's true. Uh huh. That's okay for bag of hippie. Oh. Bag of hippie. Bag of hippie. Can you print a downloadable PDF file for Johnson Rod con- Conversation? I think I you meant. Con- that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't notice it either. I think you meant conversion. Went to a parts store for a. Had wa- to talk about Johnson Rods. <laughs> yeah. You having a hard time bringing this up to your loved ones? You don't know how to communicate Johnson Rods. <laughs> we got that. We got a downloadable PDF file for you to <laughs> download. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> he said he went to a parts store for one and a quarter inch Johnson rod. And the man behind the counter said he needed one and three eighths Johnson rod. Now he's stuck with a large Johnson rod and what he needs. <laughs> they survived. They're going to push that large Johnson rod on you. That's the problem is they're always trying to yeah. upsell you to that yeah. big one. You don't, don't let them push the large Johnson rod on you. Larger isn't better. No. Believe me, I got a lot of experience here. <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, bigger is not better. Right. Yeah, but yeah. honestly, if you have to refer to any reference sheet mm-hmm. for a Johnson rod, take a look at your life. Yeah, you probably aren't. You probably can't drive a you stick. You failed at some point. <laughs> you probably can't drive a stick shift either. <laughs> yeah. Is this the Johnson rod? This Johnson rod's really sticky. Well, it's got five <laughs> settings. <laughs> it's just, I don't. Know. I don't know why I said sticky. Um, but uh, oh. yeah, I don't know. Retract the boot. Yeah, pull it down. Yeah, <laughs> you ready to go? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ah, okay. Got a clean under there. This one comes <laughs> This one comes from Giles Hip. Giles Hip. As this mad mad world. You gotta knows, read it in a voice. I can't do it very good. All continuous reading. I can't read for one and then do it in a voice. <laughs> All right. It's tough. All right. As this mad mad world. <laughs> Nose dives into a spiral of increasing chaos. Uh I find myself preparing for more than I'm used to. But the more I prepare, the less I feel prepared. Have you gentlemen experienced the same, and what ways can you combat this? Uh, keep up the good work, Cameron and Kobe. Charles Hayward. Charles Hayward. Uh, you got a problem with my preparing. <laughs> I'll get stressed out there. Well, you got something to do about it. I'm going to feed the penguins. Yeah. I'm, 
What am I going to do? What? Help. The weather over Help me. sucks out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, it really can be a little weird that way. Um, my biggest thing is just sticking to your plan. Like, don't don't get crazy when when time when there's a solar eclipse coming don't go buy a yeah, freaking tank because exactly. you think jesus is gonna come from the clouds <laughs> and you gotta kill all of satan's demons with your tank <laughs> okay i don't know what, just don't do that just continue to do your thing as you normally do right yeah um and and sometimes when i'm feeling less prepared what I like to do is go and organize and update my kits and, and my gear because I'm like, oh, I got stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to be okay. Yeah. You know, kind of go through your stuff. It's a good time to go through it anyways, but then you're reminded of all the good things that you have in your prep What you've stock done. Stockpile. Yeah. yeah. No, I, yeah, pretty much the same. I, I like the, like, the thing is we talk about how prepping kind of lowers our anxiety. Yes. But there are times, there's still things that I see, I'm like, am I really prepared for this? Mm-hmm. Um. But I think that's a good time to like use that kind of anxiety and be like, let me just go through my plans. Mm-hmm. Let me go through my gear. Let me see that everything's kind of set and ready to go. Yep. But um, yeah, don't get caught up in it. Don't too do bad. it. Like news will scare you half to death. They will. And there ain't anything every good time, from it. dude. Um, what's really scary is cyber crime. Oh. It's happening. It's happening today and every day. But you can protect yourself. Um. The way that you can do that is to get Surfshark. It's your own private network. It's a virtual private network that can protect you and all your devices from online threats. Um, The nice thing about it is one subscription will cover all your devices that go online. That's pretty cool. You're basically going gray man online. You're shielding your information from websites and other online services that you don't want to see who you are and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes privacy, right? I do. Um, the other thing is, um, I think it's really useful, especially if you travel often, if you're going and getting on public Wi-Fi in a bunch of different locations, McDonald's, airport, things like that. You don't want your information out there or your device kind of exposed. So get Surfshark. It'll protect you, again, you and all of your devices. Um, the other thing is kind of nice is I use it to stream um, soccer games that are going on soccer football. <laughs> games that are over in the uk yeah pretty awesome mm-hmm. um so go to surfshark.deal slash casual preppers you get 83 percent off 24 months and you get an additional three months 27 Beautiful. months less than 60 bucks you can't beat it you can't if you want to know if you don't even know what a virtual private network is and you want to play around with it guess what fully refundable after 30 days that's beautiful dude. you ain't gonna beat that you will not beat it yeah get some surfshark this one came from josh setzer Okay, SHTF has happened. Name your favorite barbecue sauce that you would travel across the country on a quest to find. Okay. I'm going to disappoint a lot of people right here. Oh, my gosh. I do not like I barbecue sauce. I like ketchup. So- I don't eat ketchup very much. You don't eat ketchup. I just don't, I don't know what it is. I think it's been overdone in you my like- childhood. Oh, really? My mom's like, oh, on everything, yeah. man witch and all that. I just kind of like <laughs> lost, <laughs> I lost my desire to like, eat barbecue sauce. So you like don't like barbecue. So if we do like barbecue burgers or something, they're like, you want barbecue sauce on it? Like people will just barbecue the burgers in it mm-hmm. in the sauce. I don't like it, man. Well, what if you have like it's too sweet, like a brisket or stuff? I like don't that. say I won't eat it. Okay, I just don't prefer it. But I'd, I'd like just straight up meat. Do you? Yeah. Mm. Raw. Interesting. <laughs> right from the cow. Yeah. Just cut it off. Cut yeah. a little piece off. Let the cow live. Hmm. But like no, I so I don't have a favorite one because I don't. Interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, lately, There's a lot of good ones. There is, But yeah. I just don't really have a choice. I've really liked lately, this one, it's a cheap one too, and it's the Kinder's Hot Honey. Oh my gosh, mm. I love that. It's a little spicy, a little sweet, obviously, um, but it's so good. So, so good. And if I'm feeling spicy, I like the famous Dave's Devil Spit. Devil Spit, huh? Yeah. That it's super good. spicy. Um, I'd probably go with more of a spicy one if would I were you? to go. With yeah, them. that one's super spicy, not very sweet at can all. Can you get it at Walmart? You can. Oh, I'll get Actually, it. I'll try it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love it, like with a brisket or you know some pulled pork or whatever it is. Yeah. I gotta have something with that yeah. stuff. So that's what I would do. Maybe that's what turned me off is pulled pork. Oh Everybody's my just gosh, like takes it all the time. Pulled full pork, of like barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So I didn't give you any idea there. That's all right. Probably the cheap. Great value barbecue sauce. <laughs> I hate I hate cheap bar like that really really it's cheap like stuff. Ketchup. It's just like I sugar. don't like it. Sugar. I don't like it. Morgan Mears. Is it my turn? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Morgan Mears. 
if a per if the purge like situation was going to happen for 24 hours there were no laws would you be bugging in or bugging out additionally what bug out vehicle would you prefer I didn't see that oh no I did the ecto one uh, from Ghostbusters or kit um, from Knight Rider and why I mean I guess kit would be the oh, dude. right answer yeah but like in my heart I want ecto one it's cool. It's cooler. So cool. I'm just, I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan, so. Yeah. It's hard um, to, it's hard to like. Yeah. Pass I'm, I'm really not a Knight Rider fan, so. I'm not either, but. But Kit. I wrote down some of the things that oh, Kit can do. Did you know this? No. I didn't know it did all this. Okay. It's a high-tech, artificially intelligent car that can drive itself, talk, and has many features. Mm-hmm. Top speed, 300 mile power. Wow. Yeah. It's quick. Give or take. Be a NASCAR. Um, medical scanner. Includes an oh, yeah. EKG to monitor vital signs and detect injuries, poisoning, stress, and other emotional states. Wow. <laughs> She's ovulating <laughs> in your passenger seat. Um, <laughs> She's menstruating. Thanks, She's menstruating, by the way. Be very careful <laughs> about what you Tread say. lightly. I'm going to, you tell <laughs> me what to say. <laughs> you tell me what to say and I'll tell her. Yeah, exactly. Give it to me and I will tell her. <laughs> yes. Uh, turbo jet engine. Oh, yeah. Alpha course. circuit, basically, so the car um, can drive it on its own and has auto collision Tesla. avoidance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically a Tesla. Molecular bonded shell. Oh, yeah. Tough armor, protection from explosive device firearms. Pyroclastic lamination. Oh, yeah. Withstand high temps of 800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's good. Turbo boost, silent mode. <laughs> silent mode. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Yeah, put it on silent silent mode. But yeah, it's electrical signal jamming, lie detector, laser cannon, laser printer. (laughs) (laughs) Laser printer. (laughs) Did you add that one in there, or is that real? It was on there. I I left it though. I was like, who doesn't want a laser printer? (laughs) Three hundred pages, you know. Laser print three hundred pages in a minute. Laser Pretty printers amazing. never work, man. No, no printers ever work. No. That's like we've never perfected the no, printer. We gave up on like we, once we got them printing. We're Ninety seven, like, we're like, that's it. <laughs> yeah. We're not doing any more. The dot printers were probably the most reliable. They were better, right? So now it's like it you had can't to plug connect in. Them. It was like this yeah. big with seven thousand <laughs> pins. Like, you had to have two people to hold yeah. it up to plug <laughs> it into that thing. <laughs> you did, and then you're yeah. like twisting those things for an hour and a half. Yeah. Air tools. Don't want that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, none of them work ever. Like I hate printers. They do. They suck. You, there's no use in buying it. You just throw it away and get a new printer. <laughs> it's all you, you can't do anything cheaper else. that way too. It really is, man. It's horrible. Yeah. But okay. So we're but talking about. Kit, the, that was pretty impressive. I didn't know it could do all that. You gotta so go obviously you gotta go with kit. Again, in my heart, I want to pick the Ecto-1. Yeah. And you but still can. One. And I'm super excited to go see Ghostbusters on Friday, by the way. Holy crap. Is that this week? It's Friday. Oh, dang. Yeah. Gonna go. We'll see it. Go bust and some the ghosts. On. Um, I suppose, you know, if we talk about the purge situation, if it's only 24 hours and I had lead up time, oh, yes, I, I, would, guess I skipped over that. Part. I would bug out. Yeah. Okay. If you had time. Yeah. You, you makes sense. Why right? wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Even so, if it happened in a town like this, I would bug in. Would you? In our own town? I don't think there'd be. Oh, there's going to be plenty. Yeah. I don't there's going to be plenty. I mean, even in that, yeah, it's there's gonna be plenty. There's no rules. It's true, dude. People are side by side and cross your yard. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Like it's gonna be madhouse. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like maybe you could bug in here, but if I was in any bigger area, I'd get out. No rules. I feel like around here, like getting further from town is probably more. I don't know, man. No rules, probably. Pe- there is. People be like trying to build a shop in your backyard because there are no <laughs> rules. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, we don't have no zoning laws, permits. That's true. Someone's gonna, you that's, can dig here if you want. <laughs> just dig. Blue stakes, screw them. Yeah. Like that would be the rule that people would be breaking here. That's true. You know? They would. Yeah. Now time I can build my own shed. I don't <laughs> yeah. need a building for me. Ain't no permit. Um, but yeah, if I had 24 hours, I'm going to bug out. I'm going to find the most remote spot to camp ever. Keep quiet. No fires, no lights. So you do run the risk of being out there alone if somebody gets out there. But I think it's better than all of the people that are here. Yeah. That might, you know, maybe they think you're <laughs> It's wi- true. You got that. Like, I can't tell you how many people want to just shoot in their backyard. Oh my gosh. Constantly. <laughs> But there are no rules. Like you just arrows sticking in the side of your house. You're like, I hey, probably should get out of here. <laughs> I probably should leave. Uh, but like, rape is okay. People think your That's wife's true. cute. They're going to be coming after. Yeah, 
I'm going to have the whole town coming after from my wife. I'm coming after. I know. <laughs> That's why I was going to convince you to come with no me rules. to bug out, but uh, you're going to try to see him a ding dong. I'm finally <laughs> going to see him naked. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's time. It's time it happened. Yeah, hopefully you do get enough time, right? Yeah, that's it's not the whole just thing. like yeah, the news at nine. Guess what? Tomorrow purge. <laughs> I know, but if you like, because in the purge, didn't they know it was one day a year and they I knew thought, what day yeah, it they, was? Yeah, right, exactly. So like, you could be gone a week beforehand for sure, <laughs> out in the middle of the ocean or something. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good idea. My turn. Your turn. Uh, no. I'll read it. J. D. Dryden. Best deodorant this side of town. The SHTF and a perspirant that <laughs> only the casual preppers will use. Yeah. Uh-huh. If you had to pick one podcast to listen to besides your own, what would it be? Um, yeah. Uh-huh. So, I don't listen much to podcasts. Mm. Do you Do you listen a lot? Like, uh, quite a here bit. And there? Every day, pretty much in my truck. The Art of Man, because I'm usually listening to a book, that's why. Uh, oh, you're smarter than I am, well, I guess. <laughs> you read them. <laughs> I listen and get 2% of them. Okay. Just but, like the um, Art of Manliness is probably the one I listen to the most mm. if I listen to one. That's why you're so kind of nice. It, it, yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. But it's nice, kind of a summary of, you know, the, he talks to the author and mm-hmm. kind of get a book summary. Pretty nice. Sure. It's like the, the only thing I did in school when I had to do a book report, read the summary. Read the summary. <laughs> um, the other, I'll occasionally listen to Nate Lamb podcast. Um, oh, uh, Bergazzi. Yeah. Uh, him, yeah. Bargetzi. Bargetzi. Um, It's pretty much rambling, same thing we do. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, they have several comedians on there. Pretty yeah. funny. Nice. Um, but those are probably the only two that I mainly listen to. Okay. I do. I will listen to stuff they don't want you to know because those guys are awesome. Love those dudes. I'll listen to some Rogan and to Smartless here and there, depending on the guest. Um, lately I've really been liking the Confused Breakfast podcast. What's that one? Uh, they talk about like movies from the eighties and nineties. Oh, really? Break them down and yeah, tons of great stuff. That's cool. I didn't know about that one. You probably told me about it. Yeah, I did. But if I was ever going to do like another podcast. (laughs) I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I've told you You told me and I just dropped it. I just dropped it. But like if I was ever going to do like another podcast, that type I would just love to do. I know it's- The movie one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's It's easy. Like- more natural feeling, right? Yeah, like I would love to do a podcast like that. The Confused Breakfast, though, if you love 80s and 90s. Because you can kind of say what you want about the movie. You don't yeah. have to be like... Yeah, it's great. Yeah. You see it a different way. They've, they've blown up, man. They're huge now. They've That's gotten cool. big, so... Mm-hmm. Well, good for them. Good for them. Good for them. Mm-hmm. Do they have six million listeners? Probably more than that. It's probably per <laughs> we episode. We don't have that either. Their, <laughs> yeah, no. We have six listeners a million times. Jared Chip. Two P's, two R's. Love chips. <laughs> you only get one kind of knife for all EDC or SHTF scenario uh, needs. A fixed blade, pocket folder, or multi-tool? Yeah. Multi-tool, man. If I can only get one, yeah, I think I got to pick a you multi-tool. You kind of have to. Yeah. Not the greatest knife. No. But you got all that other stuff. The yeah. cork, <laughs> screw, or a cork. Cork, yeah. For that bottle or opener, toucher. The cork toucher. Cork toucher. <laughs> I got a cork toucher. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, yeah. Twist it in your cork. Yeah. I want to touch your cork. <laughs> you sleep naked? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your cork. <laughs> Did you two see each other naked? <laughs> Have you seen his cork? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, I have. It, I mean, it's not the, like the... Uh, Leatherman or Gerber multi-tool, it's yeah. not like your first pick, but it's the best pick. Yeah. It's a it's, smarter thing. Right? It has the most uses. Yeah. It will be the most useful. You got to go for it. You remember the Swiss Army knives that have like tweezers mm-hmm. and a toothpick? And a toothpick, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Great idea. <laughs> yeah. Got to have that toothpick, man. Ribs. <laughs> ribs. I had ribs. <laughs> yeah. Ellen Mauro. Um, Mauro. I have prepping burnout. Every day there is something new to worry about as the world goes bonkers. How do you get out of your prepping funk? Hashtag anxious all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look, look, Ellen. First thing, limit your news intake. Like this is this is where a lot of people's anxiety is coming from. See, Cam didn't even watch the news. He didn't know Jesus was coming back. I didn't <laughs> with the with the solar or with the eclipse. He didn't know, and he was fine. Right, he I'm doing info. okay. He's doing fine. Uh, you don't need to be consuming that info yeah. daily. You know, keep an eye out for something that might matter. But 
that, that mainstream cable news, prepper porn on YouTube. Bad Is there you. really more going on than there was 15 to 20 years ago? Uh-uh. At maybe at any given moment, but it's not. There's different. more people. Like, think but, of the things that were happening in the yeah. you know, 60s and 70s. Like bad stuff. Some bad stuff. It's like I was having a conversation with my wife's family the other day, and like you know her old, like her mom and her grandparents are like, "This is now is like it's the most evil, scary time there's ever been." And I'm like, "My mom's totally." And I'm like, way. "You know what? I'd rather live now than in the 40s." Me too. World yeah. War II was horrible. You're like mm, they I were could... just like massacring people. Yeah. You know, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, I guess so." Become you know? more civil. Like, yeah. it's crazy. Like, it's we getting... look at, like, the nightmares of what's going on now and all the, the risks and all the threats. And and there's bad the stuff, for sure. And wars and stuff. Yeah. But I'm like, uh, we live in the best time. Yeah. We do. Say what but, you want. Yeah. So, take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. You know, listen to us. Maybe learn some things. Have a plan. Yeah. Like, I think those plans really help me, you know. That prepper risk assessment, the emergency plan. That is way ahead of most. Yeah. Which is crazy. All you have to do is make a plan. Also, have hobbies. Enjoy your friends and your family. Yeah. It's all going to be good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, it's okay. We all die. We all, everyone. We'll we'll all die. die. We will all die. So. So, it's okay, Ellen. Whether it be by a nuclear bomb. Mm Mm-hmm. Or tripping downstairs. Or, or that mole that's going nasty <laughs> on your chest. Why'd you bring that up? <laughs> I had to remind you about it. Uh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> that, mole, that mole that's gone sour. <laughs> what was that? That's a new girl. Remember when he's talking about, yeah. like, how, yeah, I know I how I'm going to die. It's going to be this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> he talks about his mole. Uh, that's funny. You know how, yeah. Yeah. Funny. Yep. Um, Stephen Cleveland, dude, he, Junior. He sounds like a used car salesman. Come down, see Stephen Cleveland Junior. <laughs> it's a perfect I'll name. Get you a brand new yeah. Honda Pilot. He sounds like a perfect salesman. Stephen Cleveland. Hi, Stephen Cleveland. <laughs> Selling microwaves, microwaves, <laughs> microwaves. Selling microwaves and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a 1989 Chrysler Little Baron with your name on it. <laughs> yeah. Stephen Cleveland Jr. gets you the deal of a lifetime. Yeah. That is a great name. Yeah, man. Stephen Cleveland. Yeah. Um, salt is life. Salt is something you need to live. Uh, so many questions are so. My question is should you stock up on salt or is there a better substitute for it if you don't live near a salt mine or ocean? God, I'm still just jealous of his name. Stephen S- Cleveland. Stephen Cleveland Jr. Yeah. Stephen Cleveland. Salt substitute. Yeah. Hello. Um, yeah. Salt, dude. Dude, salt's very available nowadays. Salt. You can get it you anywhere. You can buy a whole bunch of it. You can get free so. packs of Wendy's <laughs> yeah. of it. Exactly. You, to, you know. Um, but I remember we had like a question. It's like, what would you go back for? And and because I poorly prepared for it. Sure. I was like, I'll go back and get some salt. Yeah. Because I have thought about like. Nothing is worse than just bland, mm-hmm. saltless food. I've done it camping a few times because I'm like, yeah. crap, I don't have any salt. And I just, like, might as well just eat a piece of tree bark. Yeah. It doesn't have any flavor. So. And you don't do the barbecue sauce. I don't do So barbecue. what are you going to do? Yeah, I don't have You got to salt it. You got to salt it. hmm That's true. That's like, if you properly salt, like, mm-hmm. any type of meat, like, it's good, man. Yeah. You don't have to put anything on Salt's it. Salt's all you need. So. Yeah, it's just like love. It's very <laughs> love is all you need. Salt yeah. is all you need. And I grew up with salt lick when I, my dad would go to the feed store. Yeah, and get some of those rabbit salts. Yeah, so, so I'm addicted to it. I've dude, been me too. Dependent on it forever. You you kind of feel jealous of the horses and the cows when they're licking their salt licks. Like, oh yeah. man, I'm gonna get down there. I need to get in there. See the big old groove in yeah. it that the cows have that been licking. You're like, groove. man, lucky sucker. <laughs> He's got so much salt. It just reminds me of those smarty suckers. I bet you their tongue's so oh, raw. God, those smarty suckers were bad. Tear too. you up. Yeah, they would tear you up. <laughs> Gosh, they would tear you up. <laughs> Man, yeah, salt's um, important. Um, it's got to be a big part of your food supply. Yeah. Nathan Plan. R. Daters. Daters. Oh, pretty good one, too. If a nation or planet-wide SHTF scenario occurs, would it really matter if you had a ham radio license or not? Do you think the government would waste time trying to track down unlicensed users when society is collapsing all around? Look, I'm not the ham radio police. No. So I don't know. No. But I thought about this, too. I'm like, they probably aren't going to no. care. But have you ever tried to use a ham radio without any skill or any knowledge? It's Man, I'm just like twisting yeah. knobs and 
pushing buttons. I feel like it's that game, the bop it game. Bop it. <laughs> Squeeze it. Squirt Shake it. it. Shake Smash it. it. <laughs> Yell it. I don't know. It's like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, you know? And it's, I, I do think it's going to be used. I mean, I think it's going to be yeah. an essential communication device. You need to know how to use it. Yeah. But you're like, probably not going to, they're not going to be strict no. as much, but can no. you imagine trying to communicate and somebody's like, <laughs> Man, cover that. How about subscribe? <laughs> and you don't even know how Somebody to talk that shouldn't back. shouldn't be in there. You're like, yeah. you son of a... You idiot. But yeah, no, it's not going to matter. I wouldn't worry about it. But the thing is, you've got to understand how to use it now yeah. to have it be much useful in that situation. So you've got to kind of get your license. Because you they'll do. come at you now, I'm sure. Yeah. Not. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's not like tax evasion or something. Yeah. But once in a while, I'm sure they're going <laughs> to come at you, you know. Just a knock on your door. I know Come you have a ham radio down there. You've been broadcasting. Come on, knock on. That's, <laughs> That's exactly what I heard. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're confusing. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you're probably not going to get hunted and tracked mm -mm. for using one, but no. you probably won't know how to use them yeah, very so, well. And that's why, because yeah. you won't be able to get out. Anyways. Yes, sir. Um, your turn, my turn. Uh, your turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brad, look, I hate this thing popping up. Okay. He just like bubble it up. <laughs> Brad Lepre? Leper. Leper. My skin's falling off. <laughs> My family's wiped out, <laughs> and now we took the name Leper. They all died. Lepre. We Le changed it a little bit. I just put a re at the end. It's all good. <laughs> Lepre. Lepre. I don't know why he's got this Spanish It's European accent. leper. It's European. <laughs> um, mm. I guess Spain, because I don't know who else. It has to be Spain. <laughs> For those of us... Um, for those of us that live in major metropolitan areas such as NYC, what would you advise for when SHTF? I advise getting out of there, buddy. Yeah, there's no, there. I can't Bradley. think of anything more important than to just get away from that type of area. Yeah, like obviously not. You're not gonna have to get out of there for every scenario, but you have to have a bug out plan that is solid, <laughs> my friend. You know. Grab your Start making a tunnel right now. <laughs> grab your <laughs> leprosy pills and get out. Okay? You got to yeah. get going right now. Yeah. Lepre. Lepre? Yeah. Lepre. <laughs> Lepre. <laughs> Bra Lepre. Sometimes you're the predator. Sometimes you're Lepre. <laughs> right? That's exactly right. <laughs> Uh, it's a family motto. Good job. Um, today's podcast is brought to you by Tech Pack, the only tactical subscription box with useful professional grade stuff inside. Use code Casual Preppers and get a free seventy dollars machine made part from Next Level Armament. Get it done. Easy man. enough. It's so easy. It's free. Takes two seconds. Yeah. Get out there and do it. What are you guys waiting for? <laughs> My gosh. Get off your butts and get your tech pack. Seriously, we've been. Use talking the code. about it from the beginning of time. 2016. I think we've been talking about it for eight years. That's crazy. How long is that? Eight years. Thank you, Tack Pack, for yeah. being the they were the original. They were the, the original sponsor. Still hanging on by a thread. Yep. After six million downloads. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, that's it, that's boys all. and girls. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank always, you very much. Always love these mindless banter episodes, Me don't too. we, Cam? They are. A delight. They are a delight. We <laughs> love them. Like you. It's good to know people are paying attention to yeah, us. Yeah, it is. Because sometimes I wonder. <laughs> I wonder too. All right, guys. Thanks. Stay survived. <laughs>